Well, good afternoon, Mark Albrighton. Um, I thought we'd look back at some of your most memorable games in a Leicester City shirt. Uh, these are ones that you've picked out, and the first one you've gone for was the start of a very memorable season and the opening game against Sunderland. Yeah, I think on that one, um, I remember sitting in my kitchen uh, with my wife, my brother-in-law, in the in the morning of the game, um, and we'd had a we'd had a tough summer, and I, I remember thinking like this um, this year we need to we need to really do something special and need to get off to a good start. And then there's always the worry of the first game of the season. I are, are you in good enough shape? I, I like where are you going to be compared to to everyone else? And, um, I think the combination of all that, and then to to then go out and, and perform the way we did, uh, I I myself was pleased my pleased with my performance, two assists, a goal, um, and everything just clicked into place. And I remember sitting there um, when when we got home that night, and just relief and um, and just proud to have gone out there. And, Done, done so well, and that that game always sticks in my memory. I guess with particularly what had happened the season before and and the great escape, naturally the next season the main aim was to stay in the division. So so to win on the opening day at home against a team that that might be in and around that position towards the end of the season must have given you a great lift. Yeah, I think as well. Like obviously we we finished the the season before with. Uh, we stayed up with a game, I think it was one game to spare against QPR. And because we was, was on such a good run, it, that last game as well, I think we won 6 1 or 6 0. Um, and then the we, we didn't really want the season to finish. Like we'd, we was on such a good run, we just wanted that to, to carry on that, that the good feeling that we had in the camp. And um, so I think to. Everybody was chomping at the bit just to get back going again. And obviously, when we come back, it was um, it was just where we left off. Like we picked up where we left off and, and carried that on throughout. Well, later on in that season, the next game that you've picked is is an extremely memorable one for one individual, but clearly for you, a very memorable one for you as well. Leicester one, Manchester United one. Yeah, I think obviously the game sticks out as uh, as the game for. For Vards and he uh, he he's made that made that game his own really and um, that that's all it will be all it'll be remembered for which rightly so as well um, I think for me personally I think everything about that game you, you go in you, you're on such a good run um, you're doing so well in the league and um, I remember just the atmosphere before the game I remember warming up and it just seemed like no other game that I'd been involved in before. I think it was. It, it's very rare that you get such an atmosphere in the warm up as what you did in that game. It was, it was dark as well. It was under the lights. And, um, everything about it was just. It, it seems like like a real big game, um, which up to then I hadn't really played in, in many big games myself like that. I just remember so so much about it. So there's so much focus on that game, and that with it being against Man United, one of the biggest clubs in in the world, it's um, you knew you was coming up against good opposition, and you knew that their fans would would come in come in their numbers, and, and throughout the whole game, the atmosphere was incredible. Once Fard scored, it just went up the notch, and um, unfortunately, we just we, we only got the draw in the end, but. Um, to to just been involved in that game is is always something that I'll I'll look back on and remember fondly. Yeah, another memorable game in a very memorable season. Um, we'll go to the season after. Obviously, with winning the league, you secured Champions League football and and the very first game for Leicester City in the Champions League. Only a few minutes into it, and you scored. And and what a huge moment that must be for for Leicester, the football club as a whole, and and obviously for you as a on a, on a personal point of view. Yeah, um, that game obviously um, so special to me uh, for the for the whole um, for the whole squad. We, we went into it. Um, I, I don't think I don't think there was more than two or three that had played in the Champions League before, if that. Um, and to go into it 
a bit into the unknown, really. Like, we didn't really know what to expect. Um, and there was probably people writing us off before the game. Um, so to go there and, and get off to such a good start was, was fantastic. But I, I just think the whole occasion with the game, I mean, it was... Um, to the music before to experience that was was incredible and then for me to get the goal I, I remember going in at half time and um, there was people sort of hugging me at half time like saying you scored in the Champions League and um, it never really sank in until after the game and um, it was yeah the only re- regret I've got of that is that my family my family didn't travel to that but I, I can't even remember the reason but I think they regret it more than me like what it's um it was it was an incredible incredible uh occasion and, and it, it it started our campaign off well i guess when when the whistle goes for, at the beginning of a game it, it becomes any other game of football but but with it being the first one in the champions league and and you scoring so early you said there it didn't really sink in so as you're playing, there wasn't a moment where you thought, I have just scored Leicester City's first ever Champions League goal. That didn't really happen to you during the game then, or when you scored it? No, not really. I think um, at the time that I scored, it was just joy. Um, I think you can see from the photos of the celebration, just like overjoyed with, with scoring scoring a goal. Um I think the fact that it's come from a long throwing as well, like just sort of summed us up a little bit as, as to how we were. Yeah, we, we're like we're a good side, but there's not many teams score from long throws in the Champions League. And I thought that, I, I think that just sort of said like we've we've arrived a little bit here on with Leicester are here to to do something special. And um, I think just when you look back, yeah, like. You can play in as many Premier League games as uh, as you want, but I think when you when you're playing the Champions League game, you know that there's that's so much more, um, so much more people watching the game on, on TV. There's it, it's yeah, the Premier League is is shown worldwide, but I think the Champions League is just it's just massive, and any any foreign players that that come over to to England. Their, their aim is to play in, in, in the Champions League and the, the European competitions mean so much to, to them and having been around so many players with that attitude it's um, that, that made it more special for me because I, I knew I knew what it was about. The next game that you've picked out then later on in that season was just after a, a managerial change wasn't it and it was Leicester 3 Liverpool 1. Yeah I think with this one it was just more emotion than anything um, there's a lot been a lot been said and written and um, we had to go a few a few days with with listening to these stories and 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 not being able to to do anything about it so I think when when the game come out it was a game of just pure let your frustration out and um, just stick together as a group and, uh, and go out and just do do people proud that um, you probably feel like you've let let down in the past, and that, that I think that's what we did. We we went out there. Um, I, I remember being being close to close to tears with with, with that game, and um, just walking out. And, and I was just so ready. I was I was more pumped for that game than I think I'll, I've ever been been pumped for a game before. And I, I remember standing in the tunnel, just thinking like, get me out there, and um, and then obviously. With, with getting the result again, it was it was one of those games where after you get home, you sit down and you, you sort of take a, a few deep breaths and think, yeah, like we've, we've done we've, we've done people proud there that, that we needed to be proud and, um, uh, and we've, we've got the right got the right outcome. And then shortly after that was the second leg of the the Sevilla game in the Champions League. Now you, you had to include this one, didn't you? <laughs> Yeah, this one obviously speaks for itself. It was, um, I don't think uh, that's probably the um, the biggest the biggest night that the, the King Power has seen um, in, in its history. And it was the atmosphere was incredible. The um, I think I've seen recently. Obviously, it's it, it's uh, it comes up on your memory um, where, where when the game wasn't. Um, I think taking away the whole occasion, I think the actual game had a bit of everything as well. Like 
Um, obviously, the penalty saved, the goal was sending off. Um, it, everything was was included in, in the actual game of football, and along with with all that, there was some there was some great football played by both both sides. Um, to get the goal was um, was incredible. Uh, uh, the penalty save of I remember celebrating that like a goal um, because I think that that just about done it for us. I think we if that goes in, it gets very nervous around the stadium on the pitch, um, and then it feels like your your hard work's gone out the window a little, little bit. But um, to then see it out in in such circumstances was was, was incredible and. Um, it's that that night will, will be forever, be forever remembered in, in Leicester City fans fans' minds, but so so to so to our minds. And that celebration of yours is, is a terrific one with the run, and then I think you were brushing teammates off left and right, yeah. weren't you? <laughs> yeah, well, I think like I said, uh, to do with the Bruges one, my family weren't there, and, and that was that was a that was really big for me because my especially my mom and dad travel travel every to watch me play and um, and I appreciate that so much and um, for them not to be there at Bruges I know would have hurt them a, a lot especially with, with, with what happened and so to, to then score in the Champions League in front of them with them there and I had uh, my wife was there and um, my best friends were there so it was that then just I felt like I had to go over and celebrate with them. I, I know Drinky was was trying to jump on me, and um, I, I feel I do feel bad because if I was being brushed off, I, I, would, I wouldn't be happy about it. But um, no, I think um, I had to go over there and and, and celebrate in front of them, and, uh, and I know that they they're grateful for that. Yeah, another incredible evening that at King Power Stadium. Uh, a little bit of a, a change in tone and a change in emotion for the last game that you've picked out and your most memorable ones for Leicester City. It was Cardiff City away. Uh, it's one that I think that, that every single Leicester fan that was there that afternoon will remember forever. And, and of course, you being involved in the game will remember forever as well. Yeah, I, I remember going into that and uh, most most people were saying the re- the result doesn't matter today. It's um, it, the fact that Leicester are, um, are actually playing in this game is, is an incredible um, it is incredible from them. And but I I, re- I had a different view on that. I, I remember going into it saying to myself, we need to win this game. We're we're flying. We, we flew straight out to to Fischer's funeral um, straight from the game and I remember I know Fischer, all Fischer's family were going to be there and, and I thought we can't go get on that plane having not not won and not bought the, the three points home and, um, I knew that they were watching from over there we had been told that so um, my, my thoughts on that were we, we need to we need to win this game that's the most important thing today. We need to we need to get a victory here, and um, we we fought and we fought. We was we was much the better side on the day, and um, we, we had a few chances that, that didn't didn't go in. And then when we finally got the goal, it was there was so much relief and, and emotion come out in that goal and the celebrations. And then um, and then after the game, um, I think I said before the that. It's the only time that I've really felt where it's it's meant more than football. Then we've obviously got the result and we're on that pitch, and there was so much more than football that there was many people's minds. And um, to be to be stood in front of all, all them Leicester City fans, and even even the Cardiff fans were were there, and we had people people on the pitch as well that had been at the club for so long. Everybody travelled. Whether you was involved in the squad, whether you was in the backroom staff, every single person travelled, and I think that brought a togetherness within within the squad and within the staff. But then when we went over to the fans, it it, it then brought them as part of that, and I think it just shows the the family that that Leicester is, and that that in in, in that moment that summed it up. And then to to be able to get on that plane and uh, and arrive in Thailand having 
having done something shy proud, it was um, it, it was incredible. 